we hope all of you at home are having a great day and we are one week away from Giving Tuesday, which is a day that encourages people to give back to the community by making donations to nonprofit organizations. And this morning, we are so excited to have two of our new friends with us, Mark Turnipseed, the Senior Director of Philanthropy of Make-A-Wish, and also Abby, who is a Make-A-Wish kid. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. We're excited to have you. Mark, I want to start off with you. Please tell us a little bit about Giving Tuesday and why it is so important for charities just like yours. Absolutely. So Giving Tuesday, it's a global movement and really it's centered around our desire and our ability to give back to charities that are helping those in need. Um, as you mentioned, it's next Tuesday, mm -hmm. November 30th, and we're just really hoping to see our community flex that philanthropic spirit and help create some hope for Wish Kids and their families this year. And St. Louis has such a philanthropic spirit. I'm always humbled and amazed by how giving you are. Does Make-A-Wish have anything special planned for this day of giving? Absolutely, we're really excited. So uh, we have um, a really wonderful opportunity for anyone looking to really create the greatest impact with their philanthropy this year on Giving Tuesday. We have a couple of donors that came forward and they're challenging the community <laughs> to rally around children battling a critical illness. So they've pledged to grant, uh, I'm sorry, to match every donation up to $20,000 wow. this Giving Tuesday, yes. So that means that every dollar uh, given to Make-A-Wish Missouri and Kansas mm -hmm. on uh, November 30th will be doubled and help create an even greater impact for our Wish kids and our Wish families, just like Abby. And Abby, that's where I want to bring you into this. You are now a sophomore in high school, but just a few years ago, 2014, yeah. you were able to have a wish made for you. Please tell us about that. Um, it was just really important for my family just to get to spend time together after like me and my mom being in the hospital for like months at a time and then getting to have like a good time with my siblings on that trip was really nice. And where was that trip? To Disney World. Oh, yeah. most magical place on earth. We are seeing some of the <laughs> pictures, big smiles there. So that was a few years ago, but you still hold those memories yeah. so near and dear to you. And we want other families just like Abby's to have that very same experience. So Mark, can you also share your personal experience on why wishes are so impactful and important to kids? Sure, absolutely. Uh, Abby's story is a great example of how a wish experience can really impact uh, a child and their family. Uh, every year, hundreds of children are diagnosed with a critical illness right here in our local communities. Mm -hmm. A wish really isn't just a nicety, it's a necessity. And many times for those children going through a critical illness, a wish can be a turning point for them to really bring back a sense of their childhood mm -hmm. and a sense of normalcy for the family. So this year, uh, again, you know, we're really hoping the community comes together and helps unlock that full match to help create more wishes just like Abby's for children that are waiting. And it makes so much sense that Giving Tuesday is just a few days after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Thank you both for being here, Abby and Mark. We hope both of you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and we hope they have an even better Giving Tuesday. So to make a donation, please visit wish.org slash mocan, as in Missouri and Kansas, and click on the Giving <coughs> Tuesday Match button. Every donation made toward the Giving Tuesday effort will be matched up to $20,000. Mm, wow. Matt and Kent, I know you're both familiar with Make-A-Wish. Yeah. Just think about how many kiddos right now could have such an amazing wish granted with their families in the next months and couple of years. Yeah. Well, they can with the with the right amount of help, right? Mm -hmm. And it's going to come. I love the way Mark put it. He can't wait to see St. Louis flex its philanthropic spirit. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Good stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much. It has been 11 days since Taylor Swift released Red, Taylor's version, and one of her songs on